Hey everybody, Fat Bird Finds here. I am in Eastridge, Tennessee, which is basically Chattanooga, on the way back from taking Megan to live in Savannah. And I thought I would make a trip out of it on the way back. So I'm ready to take a break. I've driven for four hours and I'm ready to stretch my legs and see what we can go in here and find that we might flip for a profit. So East Ridge Antique District. Crazy Daisy. Down there is East Town Antiques. Sugar Plum. Department 1-3. I think George the Antique Nomad has been here recently. So if he has been here then I bet I'm gonna love it. Let's go in one of these and see what we can find. And right off the bat, look what we find, folks. Home Co. Put it in your home. <laughs> and lots of cute little things in this front case. I got really excited because look at all these cheap prices. All of these little figurines and things were like three ninety five, two ninety five. dollars $2.95. So I'll show you at the end the ones that I got, but I did go ahead and purchase several of those. And the Home Co pieces will be in a home, future Home Co sale. And um, I don't know, I just couldn't resist. Look how cute some of these little things are. She is showing her petticoats and she is adorable. These are more elegant instead of cutesy. I thought those were nice. I like the little girl in the pink. And then I love this little left in girl right here with the ponytails or pigtails and the flowers in her hair. She is actually a nightlight. So she is precious. There are just goodies galore in these cases. Um, I'm definitely planning a trip back to this area, this shopping area, and so you better bet that that's going to be one of my first stops is this very front showcase. We've got some holiday here, some cute salt and pepper shakers, and snowmen. Not quite what we're looking for today, but that stuff was really cute. And then I love this big cat. I really kind of don't know why. He must have had some damage. I, I left him behind. This little green and gold decanter set caught my eye. I think it was only $29 for the set. That was a pretty good price. Um, the green, however, is just not quite as desirable. This, however, is a different story. Look at this gorgeous little mid-century design. It's $45 for the set, but look at that. It's the ice bucket, the cruets, salt and pepper, and even the, I don't, I don't know, are these just glasses to go with the ice bucket? but it's got the original holder. I love that, so cute. This little decanter set with all the little glasses are cute too. $32 for the set. And also in the same booth, I look over and this art glass piece caught my eye for a second. Looks like it's a little zebra. He had a little bit of a mid-century modern shape, so I got a little bit excited, but the quality just wasn't there. It's marked Murano, but sometimes you just have to be your own judge. And I'm going to leave this one behind today. I'm not quite sure that that's exactly what this little guy is. But he is very cute. I'll give him that. Now here we go to the back of the store. Um, there's a lot of good bargains back here. I love this booth. 
um, the shelves and those gla that glassware down there caught my eye. And look at this little elephant. You know I'm a sucker for a cute elephant. $5.95, I'm getting, the price is, you know, intriguing me, but look, alas, there is damage. He's got a couple of cracks, and he's kind of seen better days. So, sorry, Mr. Elephant, we can't take you with us today. Now, the shelves that the elephant was sitting on were really cute. They're super mid-century. Any kind of little collection would be cute on top of those. Um, I really think I'm going to have to take those with me. $12.95 for the pair of shelves. Seems like a steal. All right, those are coming home with me. You might have seen a little peek of a fairy lamp there. It was um, about $20, and the price is kind of dropped on those, so I did leave that behind. This uh, set of Syracuse restaurant wear plates i love that pattern look at that but at $14.95 for five that's about the top end of what they're worth oh you guys this booth you know had me at the very first shelf here because it's mystery jars and junk jars and big bags and collections of things so i spent kind of a lot of time going through these and really i didn't end up with as much you know as I would have liked to have but it was really fun the possibility of finding some big bag of goodies was really great um, these are cute little you know cocktail picks um, or d'oeuvre forks um, those are pretty cute but you know they were nine dollars I think that's about the high end of what they're worth but see there's jars of buttons um, just all different collections, little toys, little plastic toys that you're going to see coming up, uh, playing cards, all sorts of different things. Here's the plastic, little plastic bulls, maybe? Oxen? Who knows what those are? I don't think I bought those, but I was really giving them the ones over there. They're so teeny, tiny. So yeah, all of that stuff interested me. There just wasn't anything really sellable. <laughs> There's some baby toys there. And an old rotary phone. The yellow is a cool color. It kind of would go with your smiley faces and stuff. I kind of thought that was groovy. Here's a bag. Turned out to be Shriners items, so I don't know if those have any resale value or, lot, or not, so I left those behind. And then down here, there's some wooden blocks, and then this big bin of playing cards. That was really fun to go through. I did end up, uh, I like these because they were orange and blue, fat bird colors. But I did buy these little animal hearts playing cards right here. So those were fun. Lots of souvenir cards. I could've looked, I could've looked at those all day, but I just kind of grabbed the little um, animal anthropomorphic ones and went on. Here? These were very interesting right here. I love these houses. If I had had more time to think about it at $15 a piece, those might have been a good buy. Um, they're absolutely adorable. Anybody that you know wanted to decorate for Halloween with a little village would just be in love with these. But I didn't have a lot of room and I didn't have time to look them up. Look at this one, Haunted Hotel, Blood and Breakfast. <laughs> Blood and Breakfast, very funny. These little plates caught my eye. Those might be collectible, I'm not sure. Some random jewelry. And then in this booth, there was a case of the nicer items. Um, look at this Christmas. So I love this, the Santa, but we'll come back to that. This fused glass Halloween plate. 
Ugh. Love that. It was $85, though. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Here's a flocked sleigh with Santa and his tacky little plastic Christmas tree and greenery. And then there's a teal jack-o'-lantern back there, but $24. Um, not really something I wanted to take with me at that price. And then there was just a look at this odd collection of art that this person had. Buttons all over the globe. The Barbie there had a little candlelight bulb in its head. Look at these planters. All this kind of gothic design here. And then look at all the Barbie heads. They really went to town with those. They're wine stoppers. <laughs> now that would be a conversation piece. I did think this was cool though. Look, they took random clip earrings. You know how often, you know, you find clip earrings in old bags of costume jewelry? And they just strung them together and made bracelets out of them. I think that is really cute. Because the, you know, the earrings aren't pretty as earrings, but they make a great bracelet. Love the pennies on the tabletop there. And then look at these outrageous earrings. I know, I know. I know what you guys are going to say. You're going to say I should have got the dinosaurs for Mary Beth. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I was tempted. Look at all those. That's so different and cute. And so I left the Crazy Daisy and finished up across the parking lot um, and got a look at some of these go this gorgeous furniture. 1150 Lane bedroom suit or set. And I think these three pieces are gorgeous. I love these. And then in the same booth, here's the swung vase. It's about the only one I saw for the day, you guys. They're getting really hard to find. Uh, this is the Diamond Butt, um, Ellie Smith, and $190. That's just the top of the retail price there. The green is just not as desirable as some of the other colors, but fun to look at and find. Um, so I can't wait to come back. I think we had a witch like that not too long ago. Anyway, I can't wait to go back when I have more time and check things out. So thanks for shopping with me um, in Chattanooga at the Crazy Daisy. There are lots more stores here to see. We'll come back when we have more time. I think a lot of them are farmhouse and home decor. Um, so I did zip through those because I got to get back to Paducah. But the Crazy Daisy was great. Highly recommend it. And um, so we'll come back and we'll see you next time. So in the meantime, stay tuned to see what Fatbird finds next. Bye, everybody.